today and we're going to make some muffins. So these are super simple. He really likes them and I like making them because they're easy and I don't like to have to deal with eggs and these don't have eggs. So it's quick and easy. So all I do is I do pumpkin, applesauce, so you can see I'm running out on everything because we make I make this every couple of days. Um, I don't really have a measurement, I just kind of eyeball it. But basically it's just pumpkin, applesauce, and a banana. And as you can see, I can even do it while holding him. Like I said, there's nothing raw, no egg or anything like that, so it's not a big deal if he touches anything. Okay. Okay, and then all you do is you smush it up. So you smush up the banana. I mean, I guess that's the only thing you smushed up because everything else is already pureed. But you smush the banana add pumpkin and applesauce, and then depending on um, the consistency of you know, how much you make and how many, how many oats you add and what it kind of looks like. If it looks um, a little dry, then I'll either add more pumpkin or more applesauce, depending on, I don't know, whatever I'm in the mood for. And if you don't really like pumpkin that much, then maybe add a little bit more um, applesauce. The pumpkin, it's just plain pumpkin puree, and the applesauce, we always get the unsweetened, so it's just that. If you're really fancy, you can make the applesauce <laughs> yourself, or just, um, you know, steam some apples, peel them, and then smoosh them like you do the banana. And then I add cinnamon. And I personally don't like pumpkin, but to me, this doesn't really taste pumpkin-y. I really only taste the apple and the banana so that's all i do for him and then i typically make enough i always just eyeball it it always kind of works out that i end up making six little muffins sometimes i have a little extra and i'll make another one so typically what i do is three of them will be for me and three of them will be for him so for me i'll add a couple of chocolate chips and then he just gets them clean and then here I just have two different types of oatmeal. And the reason I have these two different ones is because we accidentally got the wrong kind ones. But I guess I don't even need the other one. So it doesn't matter what type of oatmeal you use. You can either use like the quick one, quick cook ones um, or the regular old fashioned ones. And you just mix it. And like I said, you can do this even with a baby in your arms. The hardest thing is just opening things. <laughs> So before you get started, if you are holding a little one, just have the jars opened. But other than that, you can basically do it one-handed. Right, Pete? And he actually usually is pretty good where I'll sit him in the high chair and he'll watch me do that. Right. Which I like to have him be involved with making and watching his food food be made because I feel like that way he'll eat more. I mean obviously now he's a baby so it won't mean he's trying to get the pumpkin I dripped onto the counter. And then I just spray the little muffin tins. So if you don't have one of these it's a little misto. Ari and I love it because you can fill it with whatever um, whatever oil you have. Basically, I just get kind of like a consistency where it's like everything's nice and black, but not like soggy. And then I just fill it into the tins. And I always say I'm not cooking the little fries, so it doesn't need to look fancy. We're almost done, I need to go down. Um, I always 
say, I'm not cooking to win a prize. No, no, P. No, no. Hey. But yes, if these turn out really well. And they're easy. I can't say they're already approved because <laughs> he refuses to try them because there's pumpkin in them. But I feel as though you can't really taste the pumpkin because, like I said, I'm not a huge pumpkin fan either. And I guess if you want them to be more pumpkin-y, you can add more pumpkin or even omit the applesauce. And the reason I add the banana is obviously to add a little bit of sweetness to it because I don't add any sugar or anything like that. So that's a way to sweeten it up. I'm sure he would eat it regardless, but... I feel like this way they're a little bit more yummy. And then like I said, I always make three for him and three for me, so then we'll get some chocolate chips. And I just throw it into, I throw it in the toaster oven um, at 350. And then they're done. I mean, you can just kind of watch them to see when they're done, but typically they take a full cycle. So like um, 30 uh, minutes and sometimes depending on how they are, I might have them go in a little longer. Uh, uh, and then he likes to eat this for breakfast or sometimes I'll give this to him as a snack. And that's it. And I will show you when they are, when they are done. So this is just a this is just a quick and easy I don't know breakfast snack little little baby toddler meal idea or for yourself because like I said I enjoy eating these muffins too it's a nice healthy quick snack but yeah so stay tuned whenever I pull them out of the out of the toaster oven say I like them they're yummy. So now the muffins are done, so I let them walk. We went on a walk when they finished, so they kind of cooled already, so I just popped them out. And as long as you do a good job spraying, yeah. they'll come out nicely. Do you want one? Do you want some? Mmm. Do you like it? Yeah. Yummy. So as you can see, it's Paxton approved. Yummy. Do another bite? Well, we accidentally started the chocolate one, so I'm gonna have to avoid the chocolate pieces. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. No bite? So these moments are delicious. Yeah. Yeah, because you're chilling. I know it's hard to eat when we don't have any teepees yet, huh? Is there no bite? No do bite? So as you can see, they're packed and approved. And we'll be sharing more recipes as long as Pegson is cooperative with the cooking process. <laughs> okay, bye.